Hey everyone, this is uh, Neon Fox Let's Plays again, and uh, playing Sly Cooper, Thievius Raccoonus. So anyways, I thought we'd get started on our uh, first level, so here we go. The road trip gave me right, the time see I need to study up on Sly around the Cook Mobile. Oh, yeah, we get to learn about a uh, frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. Snotty prick. Sorry, but he on is. Whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy. Found it to Got his it. Raleigh. Yeah, this is uh, Sir Raleigh the Frog. He's he is the first member of the Chinese Spy. He's a very good mechanic, as Sly said. But he is also a prick. And uh, maybe that's his downfall. Oh, isn't that just the one? Look at the long range of that. So we're gonna go and sail off to the mystical, magical triangle of Charles Triangle. Yeah, that place isn't really exist, so don't even try looking for it. So we have Sly Cooper in Tide of Terror. This is so much like a comic book slash TV show. It's maybe why I love this game so much. So anyways, as you can see, uh, they traveled from Paris, France to Welsh Triangle in the United Kingdom. But of course, this place does not exist. Um, but yeah. So anyways, here is our first level in the game. Woo! Stealthy approach. Um, yeah, it's a very good beginning level. It's not too easy, but it's not too hard, and um, yeah, you get a good sense through the level. Um, I've probably played this level so many damn times that it, it, it's now become like um, the it it's become so common to me to like you know see this level so much. And Bentley talks a lot through this level, so um, just to warn you on that. Um, yeah, so. We need to get into Raleigh's hideout somehow, and I don't think Wales actually does look like this. So yeah. Yeah, sure. Like that ladder there. That is correct, but do not forget. Yeah, we already know about this. So um, yeah, the circle button—it's uh, a multi-purpose button. It allows you to grab on to pipes and ropes and anything really that you can crawl across, and it also lets you do thieving opportunities. So yeah, it's a multi-purpose button. Hooray! All right, now we're going to get into something very important right here. Oh, first off, uh, you can smash your mimes for uh, coins. If you do get enough uh, coin, uh, you will get a, a good item. All right, and our first bottle of the game. Um, yeah. Um, so... God damn, Bentley, you don't let me have anything. You have to explain everything for yourself. Yeah, yeah, I'm Bentley. Yeah, yeah, I'm a turtle. So anyways, uh, there are three things you need to collect in this game. There's a primary goal, which is the treasure key, which completes the level and you need it to get to the boss of the area. The second goal is the clue balls, which we just collected. It unlocks a new move for Sly and adds a page to the Thieves Raccoonus. And the Triterry goal is a Master Thief Sprint, which is a timed run to the end of the level and unlocks a clear commentary for the level. And the, th and the timed Thief Sprints are really hard. As you can see, there is our first enemy. Uh, not that hard. All enemies in this game take only one hit to kill. But yet again, you only take one of the kill. As you can see, there are balls up there, but uh, we can't get to them. So what do you do? You break the mast! Yes, of course. If you cannot get to something, break it. That is the... Ah, uh, Sly Cooper logic. But, uh... Man, this game is very, very fun. Um... God damn, I probably memorized this level so much. Like, to, to the point where I can almost mimic to what Bentley and Sly are talking about. I'm pretty sure Sly is just tuning Bentley out. I would be, because I already know all this stuff. Yeah, see? Yeah, yeah Bentley, come on. Yeah, partner. I'm not your partner, dude. You're not in some alternative lifestyle. I mean, come on, don't you know? Sly wants Carmelita's his tits. Isn't that that obvious? I'm sorry, but that's like a running joke with me and my friend. And the sex I feel on Carmelia definitely changes in later games. All right, you just destroy that um, alarm. Whenever you see one of those um, alarm systems, destroy it, and it'll take out the lights of the area. This guy is different. Uh, just be careful of his um, stars, or it'll hit you. Yeah. By the way, um, if you want to get 100% of all this game, you need to do all three things. You need to get the treasure key, the bottles, and the Master Thief Sprint. And I hate doing the Master Thief Sprint. I may do one or two, just to show you guys. Like in a bonus part of um, this walkthrough later on. Alright, so there's Raleigh's hideout. And apparently he's in that giant blimp. 
Oh, that's a very foreboding blimp. I don't get how a blimp can make- A storm machine- How can it make weather throughout this whole entire damn place? That's- That's a step- Well, maybe it's just in this little area. I- I don't know. Yeah, but the Welsh Triangle was a- It's a- Kind of a, a reference or maybe a parody to the Bermuda Triangle, if you didn't know that. And Bermuda Triangle, it's in the Caribbean. And, um, it's just a lot of ships and planes that have mysteriously vanished there. So, yeah, that, that, that's the whole uh, thing behind that. Anyways, just more balls up. Be careful of this current, by the way. This water moves really fast, so, um, you might want to get across here quick. Now, I'll try to see if I can just jump onto the rocks here, but I apparently screw up, and... Oh, nope. I always apparently screw up, so I, I knew ahead that I was going to screw up. I can... Oh, damn it. Uh, I was going to see if I can make that, but apparently I couldn't. Um... Ah, uh, Billy! God damn! I like how the Binocchi Kong it tells you what Binocchi Binocchi Kong. Da, 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 da. I like how it tells you what direction you're facing. It's apparently we're facing southeast, so we're facing towards Paris. I don't know. Hilly. I, I like to think that uh, Sly Cooper is from Europe. Uh, a lot of people think he's from America because of something he'll say later on. In, uh, the beginning intro of chapter two, but uh, I, don't, I don't think he is. I think he's probably born in Europe, I, I, but I wouldn't know. God, raccoons are awesome. They're, they're awesome creatures. Uh, um, in Indiana, actually, I have a lot of them. If you didn't know, my parents are divorced, and my dad lives in the middle of nowhere, Indiana. And uh, there's a lot of raccoons there. Sometimes they sneak around um, in our garbage. And actually, we have a family that keeps coming back, so I actually named the uh, one of the kids uh, Sly Cooper, just because... My dad doesn't get it, but I think it's funny. Alright, story alarm. Really simple. This level is not that hard. If you guys have any trouble on this, then you obviously get something wrong with your life. Or maybe you're not that, just not that good in video games. There will be levels in this game where I will admit are kind of hard. There is one level that pisses me off. Oh, and uh, by the way, as you can see, after we get 100 coins, we get that glowing thing. That's called a Lucky Charm. It's a, in the shape of a horseshoe. Um, basically, if we take any damage, that will take our hit from us, because you, you remember, this is a one-hit KO game. Um, so if we get one, we get, uh, one Lucky Charm, which is a blue horseshoe, but if we get, uh, another 100 coins, or if we find a Lucky Charm out in the field, we'll get a Golden Horseshoe, which allows us to take two hits. And then after you have two horseshoes, every time you get another, um, 100, um, coins, or if you find, a uh, or if you find a lucky horseshoe in the field, you'll just get an extra life. And there are lives in this game. Ah, apparently I found all... Yeah, I, I'm too busy talking about it. I'm like playing it, I'm like, oh yeah, I found this. <laughs> apparently I have to find the safe, and it's right there. Yeah. Um, God damn, I don't remember this code. A 7 in it. 792? 792, come on! I was right. That's bullshit. And da -da -da -da, we have unlocked another save. So here's going to be our first move of the game. And apparently we found a page from the Thievius Raccoonus. Hi, I beat you to it, Benny. I mean like that. So we get uh, Drake Cooper's move, which is actually really, really nice. And yeah. And we leave our insignia. Uh, Sly Cooper does that. He'll do that throughout this game. So we get the fast attack dive move. One from Drake Cooper. Uh, it, it's not really that useful. It, it's kind of cool to knock out a guy with this. It does look pretty badass, but all in all, it's not really that good of a move, I must say. I don't really enjoy it. If you guys like it, then that's okay. Anyways, here we are. Here's our first treasure key. Come, and let's get it. Ooh, one. Uh, there's going to be a lot to get in this uh, particular level. I believe there's going to be seven to get. So... Yeah, that's how many we're going to need. So anyways, uh, that's it for uh, Sly Cooper and the TV Strikers right now. I guess I will see you guys later when we go and uh, enter the hub. Uh, see you then.